This is going to be one of the most enlightening videos I've made. Make sure you stay through this whole thing because it's really going to wake you up because naysayers tell us that, you know, we're crazy for prepping. This video is going to prove it to you. Time is short. And one of the reasons naysayers say that is because, you know what, right now it's calm, relatively calm. Our, our grocery store shelves are relatively full. But this is the calm before the storm. It's just a matter of time before the elections take place, before the inauguration takes place. Not to mention, we have a country right now full of foreign nationals. World War III is looming. A financial crash is looming. I mean, it is inevitable. And with lots of things on the shelves, that's great. We want to stockpile. And I get it. Stockpiling right now with the inflation is so, so expensive. But expensive compared to almost impossible soon, that's night and day difference. And I get it. I have a huge family, very large. It hurts every single time we go to the grocery store. But nevertheless, we got to stock up. Of course, we have so many videos on what to stock up for, food, water, supplies, etc. So many things on this channel about that. But I want to talk about the number one thing you must have and have this before it's too late because having other things that I'm going to show you in a second is more important than simply just stockpiling food and water. Yeah, we should stockpile food and water. But here's the thing. We don't know when crap hits the fan is coming. It's not here yet, but it is going to happen. Again, maybe it's November, maybe it's January, maybe sooner. And we have to be ready, not simply just stockpiling food, because what you have in your basement stockpiled will only last so long. Even if it's four years, it'll only last so long. Now, how can I be so confident that time is short and it's going to happen? Very simple reason, besides World War III looming everything, is simply put, our government continues to borrow money. I use those air quotes with the feds, prints money, causes this inflation. It's causing all these major problems we're seeing right now and why groceries are so expensive in the first place. But just like you, if you continuously borrow money on credit cards and get credit cards to pay those credit cards, eventually you're going to go bankrupt. That is the direction our country's heading, and it is inevitable. But here's the thing. This video is really going to talk about two major things. One, again, toward the end, what you need to do. But secondly, I want to talk about sustainability. Because when it comes to food, yeah, stockpile food. But instead of stockpiling food, lots and lots of food in your basement, consider growing a garden, considering learning to hunt and fish. I would even say grow an orchard, but of course that takes a few years to go. You need to have alternate resupplies of food coming in. Instead of simply stockpiling water, having jugs of water in your basement, well, you can look at rainwater catchment. Make sure you have lots of water filters. Find sustainability. And yes, emergency service too, big trouble. Because right now, you can call the police and a certain amount of time they'll come to your house. Out here in the middle of nowhere, it's forever. Good luck with that. Or an ambulance. You know, maybe you're hurt or maybe your house is on fire. Right now, you can depend on services. But historically speaking, we've always seen when there's a major crash, those services disappear. Simply put, you don't have enough taxes coming in because people can't afford anything. They're not buying anything. They, they're jobless, homeless sometimes. Well, no taxes mean no police, no fire, no ambulance services. So in a lot of ways, we're on our own. We have to find ways to be able to medically treat ourselves. You know, maybe take an EMT course. You need to have plans in your house to put out a fire. You need to be able to protect yourself because the police are not coming to help you. That's what's coming. So you need to be able to protect yourself. Again, many videos about that too. Instead of the power company, I mean, they've already said that our grid is vulnerable, it's fragile. There's lots of talk of our grid going down and crashing. Yeah, people got along with thousands of years without power, but that's not you, that's not me. We have a refrigerator, we have a freezer. At least having a generator, or even better, a solar generator with panels to be able to keep your freezer going at the very least. But I've made a video too. You need to learn to ration power. Don't get used to, oh, I'm going to have this comfortable life always having power coming in. Even if you have a huge generac generator, there's only so much gas and propane coming in. It may stop completely. But there's one big problem, a huge one, and bear with me. This is stuff we've learned from the last few years. It's the lack of unification in our country, the, the division. I mean, there is unification, by the way. I'll talk about that in a second. But we have this huge division. It used to be, no matter what political party you had, and I'm not talking about just the two, Republican, Democrat, but there's also you know, libertarians, etc. We could all talk. We could all get together and try to figure out the best way for this country to work out. We saw that from the founding fathers, or maybe you're not an American, you see the same thing. But now we're seeing all this division, division, division in political parties, division in religious groups. Have you seen this? Neighbor against neighbor, our country is being torn apart. And granted, same thing, we're seeing a calm right now compared to four years ago, but do you really think that's going to disappear forever? And you think that calm is going to last forever? Of course not. But we do see unification, by the way. Unfortunately, it's not the unification we're looking for. 
There is unification in our education system to change away from what we believe in as far as the way the education should, should be. We're seeing a literal entire change in our political system away from what we're used to as Americans. Again, no matter what side of the aisle you lie on, we're seeing changes. They're trying to make changes to our judicial system. They're going to make attempts to even change our constitution. Have you seen that? Literally, they're trying to say the constitution is outdated. It's getting in the way of human rights, civil rights, etc. There is a unification to change our way of life as Americans. And again, you may be from another country. We're seeing this in other, other countries too. So what is the ultimate goal and, and what's happening with the situation with them trying to change everything? Uh, you may have seen before, you may have read this, that world orders change every, I don't know, every 100, 200 years. And before America, uh, it was Great Britain. Right now, America is the global power. We're the ones that have the global currency. Good things come along with that. Bad things come along with that. Military all over the world all over the planet as part of that. Before it was Great Britain, they did the same thing, military everywhere. But I want you to think about this. People have said, oh yeah, but when we switched from Great Britain to the United States as the global head, the New World Order, Great Britain's still there, so it's nothing to worry about. That is a complete lack of insight. Because what turned Great Britain into United States becoming the global power? Nothing short of World War II, a world war. And during that war, Understand, it was literally about another country trying to gain that global power. I hope you're seeing a connection already. It was Great Britain as the world power and another country trying to come in to take that world power called Nazi Germany. They literally were, they took over all of Europe, trying to instigate, that's why they called it a thousand year Reich. They wanted to have the new global order that lasted a thousand years. But during that time, obviously, went through World War II, is extremely painful trying to deal with this whole new world or new world order global change. So between this, obviously, it's not just simply sending our sons and daughters to war as they did in World War II, but civilian. Did you know twice as many civilians died than military members in World War II? Practically speaking, it was starvation, famine, and disease. Twice as many civilians. So don't tell me that right now, if we go from a new world order to another country trying to take it, China, China has made it very clear they want this new world order. We may literally end up again with another world war. And even if you and I, and even if our kids don't go fight this war, we still have to deal with starvation, famine, and disease in your home. And this is why we prep. Because you can't look at the news right now and say, oh, nothing's going to happen. Even if you don't believe we're going to ha not have a financial market crash, even if you don't believe we're not going to have fill in the blank, the war itself is enough to show you that they're going to be trying to switch to this new world order because China has this new BRICS, uh, BRICS alliance trying to make the UN, you know, the Chinese dollar, the new American dollar or the global currency. That's what they're shooting for. That's what they want. And if that transition does happen because of our division in America, because of our lack of unification in America, China is unified. Granted, it's unified with a tyrannical government, but they are unified for this and literally may take America down and become this new world order. Because I want you to understand when that does happen, it's going to be painful for us. Starvation, famine, and disease. So going back to what I talked about in the first place, we must be prepared. Right now, you may say, wow, with inflation, a 50-pound bag of rice is, what, 20-some bucks, whatever? Imagine what it's going to be like next year if we're actually going through this. World War II took six years. Do you have six years of prep? Do you have sustainability? Right now, you may say it's so expensive, but that's nothing compared to what's coming. Time is indeed short, and the whole transition possibly into New World Order is going to be the most painful thing you and I have ever experienced in our entire life, and that's even if we make it through it.